I'm sure you know that the food you eat affects you in many different ways, but did you know that today, diet-related diseases are the biggest sources of death in Western countries by far? The food that people are eating on a daily basis that is causing this is simply fake food. Real food used to encompass the lives of Americans, but recently, fake food has largely taken the place of that due to convenience, price, and many other reasons. Now, you might be wondering what I mean when I say fake food and real food. When I say fake food, I am referring to processed food, and when I say real food, I'm talking about food that is natural and unchanged. This topic has interested me a lot recently, and I did a lot of research on it last year and then even more for preparing for this speech. The type of food that you eat plays a big role in your life. You need to be paying attention to the food that you put in your mouth because the fake food that a lot of you are eating will cause major future problems if you're in your life if you don't make changes soon. In my speech, I'm going to tell you that the effects that real food and fake food have on your body, and then I'm going to urge you to eliminate the fake food out of your diet and replace it with a real food diet so that you will live a long and happy life. Fake food, which is processed food that is altered with artificial ingredients and chemical additives, has many negative effects on your body. According to Melanie Warner, a former New York Times reporter who wrote the book Pandora's Lunchbox, How Processed Food Took Over the American Meal, 7 out of every 10 foods that touch your mouth are altered with chemical ingredients. Fake food is addictive. The chemicals that are put in it um, make you want to keep eating it. It is, liter it is literally designed to make you want to eat more. Processed food is packed with disgusting ingredients. Titanium dioxide commonly used in paints and sunscreens, is found in salad dressings, coffee and creamers, and cake icing. Silicon, er, key, a key ingredient in canned and fast food chilies is silicon dioxide, also known as sand. Sodium bisulfite, a toilet bowl cleaning chemical, is also used in potato chips. Now, if that doesn't scare you enough, the artificial substances in fake food are associated with cancer, diabetes, decreased immune function, reproduction problems, heart disease, weight gain, and earlier death. So you might be thinking, oh, okay, I'll just drink diet drinks and eat fat-free or reduced fat food and it'll be fine. Actually, no. Even stuff that's labeled diet and fat-free and so on is harmful to your body as well. For example, Diet Coke still has the artificial flavors and colors as regular Coke, but instead of the sugar, it has something called aspartame. Aspartame is a popular artificial sweetener, and if intaked a lot, it kills brain cells and is linked to brain tumors and cancer. Another example is reduced fat peanut butter. Regular peanut butter um, consists with a lot of the sugar that's in, ice, in cake frosting. And with reduced fat peanut butter, reduced fat is worse because it just means that more of that bad sugar is added to, is added to it with less of the healthy fat. And same with um, reduced fat and fat-free salad dressings. Less fat just means more bad sugar. Anything made with soy is bad as well. It, um, it can have the chance to increase breast cancer thyroid cancer, infertility, and um, can cause infant development problems. So after seeing all the problems associated with processed food, you might be wondering what the answer is to a long and healthy life. Well, that is real food. Real food is food in its most natural state that is unprocessed and does not have chemicals or artificial substances added to it. This would be fruits, vegetables, meat, nuts. Um, of the fake food mentioned earlier, instead of Diet Coke, you could have a glass of water or occasional good smoke. Instead of the um, peanut butter, you could um, try almond butter. Instead of um, instead of the or for salad dressings, you would you could just um, just do oil and a vinegar dressing instead of the other kind. With whole food or whole real food, you know exactly what you're putting in your mouth. Unlike with fake food that is filled with countless ingredients that most people could not even pronounce. There are many benefits to eating real food. Real food has the nutrients needed to maintain optimal health and well-being. Some real food um, can actually act as medicine. Plant-based foods contain pharmacological effects that are similar to other medication, preventi pre preventing and correcting tendency towards disease and having curative properties. Also, there's no side effects. The Nutrition Almanac, also referred to as the Bible of Nutrition, written by John D. Kirschman and the help of a dozen medical and health professionals, states that good nutrition is essential for normal organ development and functioning, normal reproduction, growth, and maintenance, optimum activity level and working efficiency, resistance to infection and disease, and the ability to repair damage or injury. So basically, eating real nutritious food allows your body to be the best that it can be and functioning as it was designed to.
Now that you know the serious effects that the food you eat has on you, I urge you to take a look at your daily diet and eliminate fake processed food and replace it with real whole food so that you can live a long and happy life. Start right now. Instead of grabbing that chips and can of soda, get an apple or some nuts and drink a glass of water. Also, when you're going to a store, make sure to check the labels on the food that you're thinking about buying and try to pick the ones that have the least amount of ingredients on it and ingredients that you can actually understand and know what they are. Also, uh, pick some foods that don't even have ingredients labels at all, such as bananas, nuts, oatmeal, and all that kind of stuff. I assure you that you're going to feel much better after doing so. You'll feel better immediately after eating it. Um, just your body will feel good. And you also are going to feel great knowing that you did something to help you have a better, healthier life in the future. I know it might be a big change for you, but you won't regret it.